Hey guys, I'm ZSH Place. Welcome back to the wetlands. Hope you're doing good today. If you're wondering why we're looking at some pangolin, I'll explain that in a second. We have got a lot to get through today. We're going to be building a river for Cayman, which I think is going to be my favorite habitat in the zoo. And we need to talk about the new conservation pack, which looks absolutely amazing. So more on the pangolins later. Let's get into building the Cayman River. So the concept for this habitat is to have a huge uh, glass wall in front of the guests. I've seen some amazing Amazon exhibits and things like that in zoos and aquariums where it's like a cross section of a river. Um, so the whole thing is underwater viewing. So that's what I'm building here. So the guests will stand in front of this and then we're gonna build it up inside. Uh, so it looks like a South American river. And then we're gonna have both species of caiman in here. So the new spectacle caiman and Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. I know the Spectacle Cayman are quite a bit bigger, but I've seen them kept together in zoos. Um, so evidently the Spectacle Caymans don't eat the Dwarf Caymans, so those little guys will be perfectly safe. I want to give a big thank you to Romano Palacios again, uh, using some landscaping from the Flamingo habitat that we didn't end up using as a backdrop for this, and just heavily modified it so that it fits into the space that we have available to build here. This up here is gonna be the land area for the Cayman. And I'm gonna go in and sort of tilt that slightly so there's better viewing. But the on-land viewing for the guest is gonna be on the right-hand side as you look at it here. From the front, it is just gonna be entirely underwater, which I think is gonna look really cool. Um, we're gonna get these glass barriers as low as we can at the back so that it can't be seen and then at the front we'll have them a bit higher so the uh, the caimans can't jump out. And you can see that blue um, object in there, that is a three meter wall piece because the caimans need, I think the spectacle caimans need three meters to dive. So I need to make sure the water is more than three meters deep, which is why I've dug out the bottom of the river as well. Uh, there's a waterfall in here that was already there made by a uh, Roman, so thanks for that and that is gonna sort of power the water that flows along this river. So let's talk about the new conservation pack. I am so excited for this. We're getting Pajalski's horse. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. I do not speak Polish, which is one of uh, zoo conservation's big success stories in preventing it from going extinct completely. The Amur leopard, which I know people have been absolutely clamoring for for ages. The animal that I am most excited about, the Siamang, uh, finally going to have a gibbon in the game. The Scimitar Horned Oryx, which is beautiful, and the Axolotl, and who doesn't love Axolotls? Um, but the thing that excites me most about this update, which is not surprising, is that there's going to be new concrete pieces. Oh my god, new concrete to play with. That makes me a very happy man indeed. There's also loads of backstage pieces which is gonna be brilliant. That's something that's been missing from the game from day one. Um, I don't normally bother with backstage too much, mainly because you either have to use a million pieces to make things or you have stuff that doesn't look very good. Um, so some genuine backstage items is gonna be really welcome. Maybe I'll even make a backstage one day, who knows? Uh, something that uh, me and Romano Palacios were talking about only uh, last week, I think, uh, there's gonna be loads of new foliage and plants, etc., which is gonna be brilliant. Always good to have more of that. Just looking at the screenshots, I think they might even be doing something with the grass. I'm not sure whether we're gonna be able to change the color of grass or they've got new flexicolor grass pieces, but I'm seeing lots of different colored grass in the screenshots that Frontier have released. So very excited to get into that. That could be especially useful in an episode of Planet Wild that I have in mind. And there's also gonna be loads of other stuff, uh, some new wood pieces, loads of conservation pieces. It looks absolutely amazing. And as I record this, I don't even know what's gonna be in the 1.10 update yet. So loads of amazing stuff coming. Let's get back to this build. So all the barriers and paths are in now, which is always the most difficult thing when you're building something that has water in it. So we're gonna tidy up this grassy area for the Cayman here. And then we're gonna finish off the sort of aesthetics of the front of the build. So I'm gonna build some poles to replace the in-game glass dividers, uh, just using a couple of these pieces, but I really like how this turns out in the end. Uh, I went through loads of different uh, attempts at this before I got something that I was happy to use. So we'll copy this across and cover up all of the glass dividers at the front and in the viewing window on the side as well. 
and then much as I love the sort of infinity pool look that we had here which I really want to makes me really want to build a, an infinity pool obviously the Cayman would just be able to jump out and either fall to their deaths or just eat the guests depending so that needs to go so we're going to raise that up uh, a lot higher to keep the Cayman in here make some more little adjustments to them and then we'll sort out some of the rock work at the front of the habitat as well make sure that's more polished and then we're going to move on and start working on the underwater area um, before we do that uh, let's get back to those pangolins so the little habitat next to the binturong in wild india now has chinese pangolins in it despite the name they are found over large areas of asia including india i figured they wouldn't make the best exhibits being small and primarily nocturnal but they are very cute and more importantly they are very rare so the zoo has started a breeding program for the chinese pangolin which is why these little guys are in here now back to the river i wanted this to be really really lush and really dense and full of foliage and just looking like a proper sort of amazonian river rather than just a sort of uh, tank of water now that's pretty tricky in planet zoo because you put anything in here with a hitbox and then the caiman aren't going to be able to swim there and it's just going to completely ruin the underwater environment so primarily you need to do that with items that don't have a hitbox like these plants and what i found really useful was the water lilies i didn't particularly uh, think about having water lilies in terms of the sort of um, leaves and the flowers at the top but because they've got these big roots dangling down that enabled me to fill the water with uh, stuff <laughs> basically without affecting the traversable area of the caiman uh, we're going to put a little um, door in here this is where the habitat's uh, gate is hidden behind here so i'm going to put a door in there so it doesn't look like the keepers are just walking out of the solid rock and then use some uh, of these marula trees to cover it up from where the guests are standing so it's not too visible when the guests are stood on the paths that we're putting in here and then above the door i'm going to put in a security camera made by my boy bz <laughs> it's such a great uh, piece this and it's fancy color as well this would just enable the keepers to make sure they're not about to get uh, nipped by a caiman before they come through that door because it doesn't have any glass in it and then I'm going to put a sign in using one of Ricey's amazing fonts. This is going to go above the habitat um, and just looks really cool, I think. Put some seats in here for the guests, make a little seating area. Uh, just using the same seats that we used in the Capybara walkthrough, which are basically the aquatic seats with some uh, concretes underneath them. And then we're going to take care of the elevated viewing path that I put in earlier. We're going to cover this with yet more rocks. <laughs> you can't have too many rocks in your builds and uh, just make this sit in nicely with the uh, the rest of the habitat um, I was using this path originally because this is um, one of the better looking paths in the game I think and it's one that's got realistic railings but in the end I didn't like how it changed suddenly from the log chippings that we've used throughout the rest of the zoo uh, onto this wood so I decided to use the log chippings again remove the railings and then build custom railings using the Australian fence pieces that we used uh, when we built the Binturong habitat. I almost forgot as well we had another milestone on the channel yesterday which I am very happy about. We hit 2,000 subscribers which is amazing so thank you all for subscribing it means a lot to me um, and that is a really uh, pleasing milestone to hit. I've not prepared a montage this time <laughs> because I did one for uh, the Tecton anniversary like two weeks ago or something so um, no need for another one of those. So we're getting to be nearly completed with this build just need to put those railings in that I mentioned earlier and then some enrichment for the Cayman um, and we are almost finished with the wetlands. We have two more habitats to build a habitat that I have been looking forward to ever since they announced this pack which is for the platypus I've got a crazy idea for that habitat I have no idea if I'm going to be able to build it or not but I'm going to give it my best shot uh, that should be the next episode 
and then finally we'll build the big alligator walkthrough uh, which you can see off in the distance just past this build here so almost time to put the caimans in we just need to put some enrichment items in the habitat for them so i'm going to be using a couple of the new underwater feeders which are flat which i really like because they take up much less space and then as always with this type of animal we're going to be hiding one of the mud baths into the floor using some more foliage and these awesome dead leaves that uh, Roman made and then it is time to get the caimans in thank you so much for watching as always guys and I will see you next week for some more Planet Zoo